and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 65 Dark Knight quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in Tailfeather in the Dravanian Forelands at 3123. And we need to talk to Sadurgu. Let's do it. The quest is called The Orphans and the Broken Blade. Sadurgu is about to make a suggestion he will immediately regret. So Mifri, I imagined you'd uh, like to get back to it. So would I. Unfortunately, Mist remains inconsolable. His failure with Laudi, such as it was, weighs on his mind. He's afraid of repeating the same mistake with others. And so, for the lack of a better idea, I'm thinking it's time to pay another visit to those furry little shites in the Miss. Uh, what? But why? I can't imagine Miss helping a Moogle. My master used to uh, take me to places like Mogholm when the city became too much. The fresh air, the quiet, the isolation. And yes, I have not forgotten how the Mughals helped Ryle and me when we were uh, moody and brooding. Though I would argue that we reconciled in spite of their intervention, not because of it. Uh, whatever you say, Sid, whatever you say. So don't worry, I haven't given up yet. How could I? You wouldn't. Okay, so we need to go to Mogholm. Let's teleport straight there. That's been a very long time since I've been to the Churning Miss. Okay, let's go. So here is Sidugu. So, right then, water under the bridge. No need uh, for palms to be torn from heads and shoved down throats yet. Um, our miss is taking in the sights, I believe. Uh, why don't you join him? Okay, so where is Mist? Okay. Let's go straight to him. Thankfully, we can't fly in this zone, so. So, the wind in your hair, the sun on your face, here you can immerse yourself in the beauty and the calm, and forget the horrors, almost. Um, how far we have come, you and I. The others, they hesitate, but you understand the obligation, the duty, uh, the need for atonement. Uh, for what you need to atone. Uh, we have lost so, so much, so many friends and loved ones. So many moments, we thought we could keep and preserve them, but we are left with anguish in the end. Uh, time strips us of even this bitter rem reminder, um, if we let it, but I cannot. This pain, this sadness, is mine to bear, mine alone. This I understand now. Their grief will be mine, and in return, I will give them peace. But who and when and where, that is a question, even if we have not our limits. Um, who did I lose? Everyone. No one. We have always been apart, have we not? Uh, perhaps one day you will understand, but then you will share my loathing and contempt. Oh, forgive me. I have been away from the others too long. Sid will be worried. We must return to them at once. Okay. So, let's now go back to Sedogu. Short flight. Here he is. So, there you are. I trust Miss has had ample time to reflect upon his mistake. I have, and I am ready to resume my search for those um, I might help with my power. A difficult though it may be, I do not intend to give up. Glad to hear it. In that case, there's no need to remain here any longer. I say we leave this accursed place and never return. Don't be silly, Sid. I say that we show Miss more of the Churning Miss. We did come all this way, you know. Come on, there's a place I'd like to show you. Uh, now, wait just a goddamn moment. You can't go running off on your own like that. You'll get eaten by a free-headed Gobu. Ryle! Uh, bugging me with a bleeding. Come on, they cannot have gone far. Watch out 
for uh, belligerent Dravanians and mischievous Moogles. Okay. So we need to go there. So once we uh, get to him, we will continue. Okay, so we made it to Sudurgu. So let's do it. So don't give me that look. If the little rats uh, didn't want their heads caved in, they shouldn't have tried to sneak up on me. Besides, they're still alive. You ought to give me credit for holding back. Anyways, I lost sight of the children. I'm not sure which way they went. I'll head north and circle back towards um, Asar. You head uh, straight ways there. Awesome. Rip Moogles. Very, very sad. <laughs> okay, so we need to go all the way over here. So once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we can't call out to them. Uh oh, we have a flight on our hands. So let's go. So you should have seen the look on Sid's face when the Moogle started singing and dancing. He was utterly speechless. Uh, why were the Moogle singing and dancing again? It was stupid really, but I guess you could say that Sid has become obsessed uh, with trying to live up to his master's example, and for all the wrong reasons. He lost his family when he was younger than me. Uh, Sir... Um, Om Pang took care of him and Frey, but then they died too. So it's just the two of us now. He was angry and short-sighted, but now, well, he's still both of those things, but not as much as before. So that's progress, I suppose. Uh, Sid's uh, master was very dear to him, wasn't he? Oh, thank the gods. You shouldn't have run off like that. You wish to see him again, your master? Huh? Where is this coming from? What has Ryle been telling you? I mean, there is much I wish I could have asked him before he passed, but... Wait, no. Don't you dare, you little shite. Oh, Sid. Charming as ever, I see. Master. And this must be Frey's successor, a worthy one, I have no doubt. My name is um, Ompang, and it is an honor and a pleasure to meet you, Mifri. You did well to come so far um, on your own before meeting Sid, and together you have both grown so much, in mind and soul, as Dark Knights and as true heroes. Uh, there was a time when I was hailed as a hero too, for deeds uh, uh, meritorious in the defense of Ishgard and in the name of the Fury. Wow, after six years, I still can read so well. I'm like the best person that can read skills. Amazing. Uh, a brave and true Temple Knight, I was. Slayer of countless Dravanians, a commander beloved of res and respected by his men. They would follow me into the seventh hell. And indeed, it is where I led them. Time and time again. They would fall and I would earn the accolades. And then they would give me more gr more green boys uh, with dreams of glory. Green boys with red blood spilled on white snow. Again and again and again. And then one day I couldn't. I couldn't remember the first one's face. I had forgotten the face of the first boy who gave his life for me. That was the day I left the Temple Knights. I know that tale by heart, but not the tale of what came after. Uh, why a goodly man with titles and wealth, a man who could have lived out the days in quiet comfort. Uh, why that man chose instead to walk the path and to once more accept two children into his care. I, you asked me that very question long ago, and I told you that one day you would understand, when you were older and wiser and stronger. 
Shall we put you to the proof? Uh, Sid, and uh, see if today is that day. Oh yeah, I forgot there's actually a fight. Uh, you always were fond of your Tess. Now, now, don't be cross. You've only yourself to blame. Uh, these are your memories, remember? But of course you do. Point is, deep down you wanted this. And while there is no substitute for of the gratitude um, article, uh, you could do a lot worse. So do me the honor, all of you. One last dance with the dead. Show me the man you have become, the Dergu of the Obsidian Heart. Okay. If you insist. Okay, let's do it. Oh, he is quite hard. But thankfully, I've got a dedicated healer. Okay, so I can't stun him. I was half expecting when he teleported to be like sloppy. Okay. Protect our healer. I feel like healers are not appreciated enough. Sloppy. Okay, let's back up. Ow. actually leave I use that skill way more often so I might as well Is Sudoku gonna die? Oh, we just survived. Unless it's actually scripted to go this way. targeting in this game. Brocious. Okay. 
Okay, he's nearly there. Done. Okay, so he was actually supposed to whoop Sudoku's ass. Uh, well done, Mifri. Well done indeed. Ray would have been proud to know that you carry his legacy and mine. And Sid. Sid, my boy. My beloved boy. You nearly had me. Oh, spare me your sympathy, you bloody shade. I lost, and that's the end of it. Uh, you kept Ryle and Mifri out of harm's way, uh, Sid. You did well. Learn to shut up and take the compliment... <laughs> So, you asked me once why I chose to walk the path, why I chose to look after you and Frey, even though, deep down, you you already know. But since I lost, I owe you the answer from my lips. I was angry, angry with the Temple Knights, angry with myself, angry with this twisted world where good men die for nothing. I was seeking justice for my boys, and forgiveness for my sins. I saved lives and punished the wicked, and for a time, that was enough. But nothing lasts forever, does it? And a man ought to have a legacy. I failed my boys as a Temple Knight, but you too were my second chance. I would teach you everything I knew, everything I learned from my mistakes, uh, so you wouldn't have to make them. I would send you out into the world to do great things, and maybe, maybe, um, I would... Sorry, it would all balance out. Well, that's all I have to say about that. You know what comes next, don't you? So, though I suppose I ought to give you a word of advice before I disappear in a puff of smoke. I am your predecessor's master, after all. Uh, people like us will never know peace. Every moment brings us closer to death. Uh, those of our enemies, our loved ones, and yes, our very own. The fear of death is what keeps most men alive. That dread, that desperation to escape the inevitable, if only for a little longer. But we are not like most men. We have seen what awaits us beyond the abyss. We have uh, tasted that despair, bathed in that oblivion. We have wept rivers for our dead and cursed the gods for their cruelty. That is our sword and our strength, and that is why you may one day stand above us all. Uh, may the gods have mercy on your soul. I take care, said. Be nicer to the girl. I try to be less of a Chocobo's arse. <laughs> oh, for the love of... I like that. Are you Soul Eater? So as the Aether flows into your Soul Crystal once more from the depths of the Fading Abyss, you hear a whisper. But good, good. Glad to see it all, all worked out in the end. As for you, Mist, I distinctly recall telling you not to do that. Forgive me. I had... Had I known it would come to violence, I... Don't you dare start pouting. I'm annoyed, eh? And sore all over. But it's nothing that won't heal with time. All they ask is that you promise not to do it again. Without warning and consent. Memories can be powerful and painful. In more ways than one. That said, he was right. I've only myself to blame. Um, if I thought I could defeat him, I would have. But I didn't think I had a chance, so I didn't. His injuries are worse than I thought. We should hurry back to Mokong. So, for a moment, I was certain he would fly um, into a fury. Could it be that he is um, grateful for the experience, after all? Uh, then it was not in vain. Tired and broken though he may be, he is nevertheless better for the pain. And in time. In time we may, uh, too, we too may be. There is still hope. Redemption is not beyond us. 
Okay. Well, let's teleport back to Mogholm. And try and wrap up this quest. Okay. So here's Sedergu. I'm afraid Ryle is right. I'm going to need some time to recover. I'm not fit to travel in my condition. Which means, um, oh gods help me, I'm going to have to stay with these fury little shites even longer. Two more times, was it? Two more times and we'll be finished with this boy's crusade. Not soon enough. Mifri, be a deer and punch a moogle for me, would you? <laughs> Uh, okay, so the next quest is at level 68 from Mist. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.